Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at creating charts in iWork Numbers. Charts have come a long way since the early days of spreadsheets. In iWork Numbers 09, you can create all sorts of fantastic spreadsheets very easily. So here's a simple set of data in iWork Numbers 09. Now, the first thing I like to do before creating a chart is to shrink the table to only the size that's needed. So I'll grab the bottom right corner and shrink it all the way down just to the minimum there. Then I can select it all and creating a chart is as easy as just clicking on the charts button here at the top and choosing what type of chart I want. So for instance let's choose a 3D pie chart. And what this will do is it will create a chart and put it on the same sheet here uh, and you can see now I've got a table there and I've got a chart there. You can see with this chart I've also got now a 3D chart panel here which I can use to shift around the pie chart very easily and also have the inspector now set to chart and I can select a lot of different things in it like whether or not to show the title uh, or the legend. Uh, I can also position the labels to go in or out like that. What format the label should be in for instance percentage or I can go with the actual number in the table there. Um, I can also explode the wedges out like that, change the rotation angle to move it around, lots of different things you can do. Change the lighting style for instance, the depth of the chart as well, add some beveled edges to it, things like that. I can also select individual wedges in the chart and once I do there are certain things I can change about it like for instance I can change the, the data and labels for it but I could also just drag it out to indicate something about this piece that I want to show. And you can do that for any of the pieces here. For instance, there's a lot of different things you can do and it's really as easy as dragging and dropping. So here's a different set of data and this type of data demands some sort of line chart uh, instead of a pie chart. So I'm going to choose this one right here and you can see I get a chart now uh, just like before on the sheet. I can adjust it, move it around, change the lighting style, uh, change the depth and all sorts of things. I can also change the chart colors by clicking in the inspector here. It brings up this list here and I can change to all sorts of different styles here by simply dragging and dropping it on. So if I had multiple data lines in here I could choose which one to drag it onto. Now for any of these charts I can select the entire thing and resize it very easily stretching it in two different dimensions. So I can position where it is on the sheet. So for instance if I wanted to appear next to the data here I can do that easily as well. It will even help me align it. I can do the same thing here with the data itself repositioning it. If I want to change any of these labels I just double click in it and change it. I can also change the chart type by simply selecting it, uh, bringing up the inspector and then changing the type of chart clicking here. So for instance I can change it to this type of chart here and you can see how it automatically changed it. I could switch it to a 2D chart as well very easily. There's all sorts of different options. Now say you wanted to include a chart by itself on a sheet so you can just print it without the list of data. Uh, one of the ways to do that is to create a new sheet here. So I'll create a sheet at the end here. I'll get rid of the default table from that sheet. I'll drag the chart here on the left to that sheet and once I do that I can now go into that sheet there and see that I've got chart 2 in the sheet even though it's referring to data back in sheet number 1. So I can reposition that on the page there and I'm, that's all I'm going to get when I print out sheet number 4. If I go back to sheet 1 and I change a piece of data like say the number of peaches to 138 I can see that that's instantly of course reflected in the data here on sheet 4. So there's a quick look at using basic charts in iWork Numbers 09. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now.